We are days away from one of the most exciting moments in the development of Ashes of Creation. This Friday, August 16th, we have a live stream that is going to bring us through Intrepid Studios Alpha 2 plans. This includes the release date, a roadmap, and details on the return of Alpha 2 key sales, really kicking off the hype leading into October as we finally get to jump into the world of Vera and see what all of the hype is about. But with that, there are some expectations that I have from this intrepid stream, and there are also expectations that we, the audience, new and old, need to manage as we head into this big event. This has been said a thousand times, and will be said again and again through this next major milestone, Ashes of Creations Alpha 2 is in fact a work in progress. Whatever your expectations are for this, get rid of them. Go in with the lowest possible expectation so you aren't disappointed, which is really hard to do when there's this much hype, but it needs to be said again and again and again. Intrepid has told us this many times, this is a true raw alpha and there will be tons of bugs, broken systems, incomplete content, and content that you are expecting that's not playable at all yet, such as naval content, class augments, and the summoner and the rogue. If you've had a key for years or are waiting for the sales to come back online, know what you are buying, and if you're planning to play a complete game instead of test it, well, just don't. You will be disappointed. Next, expect delays. Don't even hold your breath for October. Nothing against the Intrepid staff, but they are not good at hitting dates. There hasn't been a major testing event yet that hasn't seen a delay or multiple, and while Intrepid is saying October for Alpha 2, anything and everything can happen in game development that sees this push to November, December, or even 2025. Remember, they were 100% certain that they could hit the quarter 3 date back in January, and even said that they were still on track up until this last livestream. So even when Intrepid gives us that set in stone date, anticipate delays. For those of you who are around during Alpha 1, you already know this. Most importantly, don't go and take time off of work for an Alpha test, because you will just get even more mad when that delay hits. You can probably anticipate broken servers and unplayable features for days if not months after Alpha 2 kicks off, no matter when the date is. When is the last time you saw an MMORPG go through launch, let alone an Alpha with 100k plus players without major server issues? For the roadmap itself, we know it's going to show Intrepid's launch plan, along with content going forward, giving us an idea of how soon we can expect new content to hit as we progress through development. Hopefully this isn't a somewhat faster pace than we have seen from Intrepid once Alpha 2 kicks off, because at this point I imagine they should have the majority of their tools in place to help speed up the design and get content out for us once they fix all those initial bugs that we may find breaking the servers. Along with this though, with this roadmap, I am expecting Intrepid to tell us about a few things. First, an updated number of Alpha 2 players. We last heard that Alpha 2 had over 100,000 testers. This was before key sales ended in January and the rush of FOMO from people thinking they wouldn't be able to play Alpha 2 surely hit. So, I imagine this number is way higher than these 100,000 and I hope Intrepid gives us a better idea of how many people they expect to be jumping in. Starting biomes is one of the biggest questions around Alpha 2. Steven has had a non-answer for this question every single time it's been asked. We know which biomes we'll eventually see, but at the start of Alpha 2, will we see more than the Riverlands? Was the desert in the Midnight Magic reveal real? Where are the tropics, the Badlands, the Redwood Forests that begun work in 2022? And if it's only the Riverlands, how fast do they plan on bringing new biomes online? Testing focuses is probably one of the biggest things they need to address, and it's really a given and something that I have no doubt in my mind they'll talk about. I would be extremely surprised if Intrepid did not go over the specific testing focuses for the start of Alpha 2, giving players an idea of what to expect and where their focuses lie as we head into October. For content we know is coming down the road, I would like to know more about naval content and when we expect this to show up in Ashes of Creation. We know this won't be in for the launch of Alpha 2, but it is a pretty major feature that will need a ton of in-depth testing. Half of the world map is water and there needs to be content to fill it and that content is going to need significant testing. The summoner and rogue are also two archetypes that we know aren't going to be in the start of Alpha 2. Steven stated that they are planned for the first major content update after Alpha 2 starts. Is this still the plan or will we see them spread out from each other? And if so, which archetypes do we expect to play first? On a bit of a more personal level for me and a small number of other people, when are you planning to launch the 
content creator program. We know Intrepid is hiring to fill a role to manage this program, but is this something that's still launching side by side with Alpha 2? If so, with an Alpha 2 date, we should probably be getting a content creator program launch date as well. But I imagine the decision to add this additional staff member may delay this, which is understandable because there isn't exactly a big need for a content creator program at the launch of an Alpha, but regardless, an update on when we can expect to see this launch would be nice. The last and biggest thing that I think Intrepid needs to address in this stream though is how long Alpha 2 plans to run for. Don't give us this, well, it'll probably be a long time stuff, Steven. No one wants to hear that. I understand it's game development, but do we expect it to be a year, over a year, over two years? Give us as much detail as you can without committing to a date or narrowing the time frame that much. This is something that is extremely important going forward. Intrepid needs Ashes of Creation to be in a mostly finished state at the end of Alpha 2, but at the same time, the longer it runs for it, the more the community could lose interest. The more the game is out there with no NDA for the world to see, could greatly impact the following of launch, especially if people feel like they've already seen most of the game. I personally believe lifting the NDA this early in Alpha 2 will probably be a mistake, as no matter how many times we say it, people are going to get upset when they don't see a complete game. It's just how the internet is, it's a double-edged sword, because the minority of people who do understand it's an alpha will give their feedback and be able to help shape the future of the game, but those people won't be louder than the negativity. Unfortunately though, the NDA drop is a commitment that was made a very long time ago, and would probably have set a far greater, more dedicated fanbase changing it at this point. As long as we don't get another delay, this Friday is the true beginning of the excitement to come in the next few months as we get ready for alpha. 2's launch. And if you need a guild for Alpha 2, join Genesis. We have over 100 Alpha 2 members ready to go, and it could be the place for you. Oh, and look at this. It's a phoenix flying through the air revealing the Genesis logo. Isn't that nice? I think it's nice.